It's Alfred again from Value Add Games and today I would like to talk to you about our latest game. It's called Black Diamond of the Lost Palace. This is a family game of adventure and exploration and players are members of a team of uh, Professor Dana who is exploring Cambodian jungle for the lost treasures of the Khmer Empire. But remember, there's not just treasures, there are also animals and other dangers in the jungle, so you better be prepared. And now we will cover the advanced rules of Black Diamond of the Lost Palace. Uh, please uh, check out other videos for previous rules to get a better explanation, because now we will only cover what's different, uh, what is upgraded. Again, players start in corners, place your camps here, also the explorers start in their camp in the first turn. And uh, now the first big difference is that you, we will use both dice in the advanced game. Uh, okay, check what we got here in the corners. Okay, your diamonds. Here, uh, any player can take diamonds, but must already have some victory points. For small diamond, we would need one victory point already, but of course, this is a start and players don't have any victory points yet. Green player got uh, emerald, it's in their color, so they can take it. Yellow player got small ruby, but it has yellow tent to it, so they can take it. And red player here got blue player's camp. Now this means that blue player must move their camp to this field right away. And now let's start. Blue player rolls both dice and gets 2 and 5. Now this means that they have to move two moves in one direction and then five extra moves in any direction so they can also move forward if we would roll two and three we could move one two and one two three but right now we got or go back like one two three and then one two uh, but uh, now we'll use this and go one two and one two three four five so we only open the jam at the end of the second move. So this here where we made a corner we don't move, we don't uh, uh, open this token. So blue player got lucky and just found its large sapphire, it's blue and the blue color, which worth 9 victory points and player can take it. Remember here we also play for 27 points and player that collects 27 points first is the winner. Okay, let's see. Green player rolls 1 and 5 and can move 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but he does not want to come to another player's camp because then you have to give that player a gem. So uh, it's better to move 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1 here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there. Or he could also move down here and collect this emerald this uh, diamond because he already has an emerald in value 3 so we can take diamond here and uh, collect it. So we move from here 1 for 1 and then we have to move for 5 more and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, that was the move of the green player. Now let's say yellow player rolled 6 and 5. So they can move let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then move five more fields, let's say one, two, three, four, five. And here is small uh, emerald, but uh, it has no yellow tent to it, so yellow player cannot take it. Okay. Let's see some more. Red player rolls one and six, so let's say they move one here. Oops, sorry. You should not open that one. Moves one here and one, two, three, four, five, six moves here. Okay, and it's ruin uh, token and we take the ruin card. Now what we get here is theft card. This player, if could use this card right now, could steal one small gem from any other player. But since red player doesn't have any gems yet, cannot unlock this card, so has to discard it right away. Uh, now, what's also special in advanced game is that only uh, gem tokens and cards will give you victory points. 
So ruins, animal cards, uh, all those cards don't give you any victory points. Uh, now please also remember that to win, player must have 27 points and must have collected their 10. So if blue player would have 27 points but didn't come here to the blue tent token to take it, uh, then they do not win yet. Must have 27 points and tent in your color. So let's say that blue player would now get one and two, they move one and one, two, come down here and collect their camp and now they are able to win if they would also have 27 points. Uh, and now let's try to find the potion of oblivion. Let's fast forward this game. Okay, here's the animal token. It works just like in a uh, family game. If you come here, let's say that the yellow player comes here to this snake, they will not die. And since it's four, three or four, they just have to return back to their camp. If it would be one or two, they would have to return to that, their camp and place one of their gems closed back on an empty map field. And if it would be five or six, they could collect uh, this animal token, tame it, and it would protect them later from steel card. Uh, here is black diamond, and let's say that red player would be here. Now, in order to be able to get it, player must already have their large gem, so that would be large ruby worth 9 points. And if red player would have it, then you just roll a die again, and if it would fall 6, this player could collect black diamond and obviously win because it's worth 27 points, if they would also have their camp already. And so basically these are all the differences, they give quite a lot of depth, it makes uh, advanced game more complex, it takes much more strategic thinking, also rolling two dice uh, makes combinations, uh, may more combinations possible, so uh, this is for advanced players and uh, people who enjoy complex games. Uh, remember, now a uh, player needs camp token in order to win, must have it collected and also tents don't give bonus points now for small gems in player's color. So it's just needed to be able to win and finish the game. And now let's find Potion of Oblivion. Okay, here it is. Let's see, if red player comes here, uh, all tokens will be turned again, just like in other games. Potion of Oblivion makes all explorer forget all the locations of gems and ruins and other uh, objects in the game. But now also, player that uncovers Potion of uh, Oblivion must return all of their small gems back to the board, to the uh, empty field. So let's say we put it here. And if we would have five small gems, we would have to return them all. So thank you for watching this Value Add Games presentation of Black Diamond of the Lost Palace, our latest board game. It's a family game of exploration and adventure. I hope you will enjoy the game and hope to see you again. Bye!